Yo guys, how's it all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jody's Beer Reviews. And this one, we're looking at Amber Scotch Ale. Now, I've actually not seen any reviews on this. So, Amber. Amber Storm Scotch Ale. Brewed in the Scottish Highlands. 6% ABV. Woo-ha! So, I, I've honestly not seen any reviews on this stuff yet. Um, I think this is actually the only, or maybe this is the first review of this beer on YouTube. So, welcome to the first review of this beer in the world. <laughs> uh. Let's read the back. Putting a twist on this malt forward classic, our stormy Scotch ale transports you to the Scottish hillsides with its honey and heather aromas. Mmm, sounds nice. Um, let's see. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops and yeast. <laughs> Woo-ha. Let's get it open, guys. There's a bottle cap. So this is a beer from the Scottish Highlands. And for some reason, there's not many reviews of this stuff there. On, on, on YouTube, there's not many reviews of this stuff. Um, so, okay, let's get it open guys, into a glass, see what it's all about. So, I bought this from, I need to clean that glass out, I forgot to clean this glass out, there's already another beer in there, give me two seconds. Sorry guys, <laughs> I forgot to clean this. I forgot to clean this glass out after I had a beer in it and I forgot to clean the thing out. Rookie mistake! That's fine. Right, let's go with the pour. So, Scotch Ale. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this might be a, li a little bit like Innocent Gun, because um, they do, they, they do Scotch Ales. Amber Storm, woo ha! I've honestly never heard of this before. Um, I was in what is it called? I can't even remember the name of the shop, but it's an off licensed shop I was in next to my, next to the train station. Um, and I was actually going in there to find Dab Export Dortmunder beer um, because they do that there and I've not reviewed that yet on the channel. But unfortunately I couldn't get Dab Export but I've seen this thing and I was like, what is this? I've never heard or seen this before. And you know, I went, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it and review it. Um, but then when I, when I came home, um, I looked up on YouTube and there's no videos of this thing. There's no reviews of this beer at all. So, this is probably the only review you'll see of this beer. Um, so, yeah. So, the appearance of the beer in the glass, very hazy, very coloured. It's not clear in any way. The colour doesn't exactly look appetising though, does it? It's like a light brown. Light brown colour, white head. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with the aroma. Oak barrels. Wait, it smells like it's, it, it reminds me of Innocent Gun. Like uh, smoked, smoked barrel, oaked barrel. Sorry, not smoked barrel. Oak barreled beer smells like it's been made from oak barrels. Um. It's got a, like, a slight smokiness to it. You can't identify that scotch um, aroma. Sweet. <sighs> Malty. Mmm, that smells really nice to be honest with you. Okay, I'm interested in this one guys. So, I've never had this before, first time trying it. So this is my first reaction to it. So, 
Cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Amber Storm. Cheers. It's a lot lighter than I imagined. It's very light um, watery. Do you know what that's like? It's like an innocent gun beer that's been watered down. That's the best way I can describe it. It's an innocent gun. It's like an innocent gun original beer that's been watered down. Imagine you got an innocent gun um, original beer and they've added water to it. That's it. Strong with the malt though. A lovely, a, a lovely strong malty taste there. Sweet. It is nice, guys. I'm not trying to down this beer. I'm not trying to downgrade this beer. I think it's pretty good, to be honest with you. I think it, 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 it it's a lot light. It's a lot lighter. The body is a lot lighter than I imagined. I thought this, this was going to have like a medium body to it, but it's very light. <coughs> it's very light. It's also 6%. Yeah, 6% volume, guys. Mm. Do you know what? It's really nice, though. I like that. It's delicious. Bellissimo. Um, it's actually really nice. Um, there's a smokiness about this beer. There's a strong malt. Um, it tastes like an Innocent Gun original but watered down. It tastes like, put it this way, if you were to hand me a glass, if you were to pour it, if you were to get a glass, check out my review on this by the way guys, just on a review of that, just noticed that was in the way. Um, but, sorry, fucking hell, what was I saying? <laughs> Aye, imagine, wait, get a glass, get an Innocent Gun original, pour it, add a wee bit of water to it, Boom! That's that! That's like a watery innocent gun. Anyway guys, let me go with my, my three scores. So, Upwork of the Bottle. Upwork of the Bottle of Beer. I like it, it's pretty cool. Got that kind of... It's like somebody's just took a picture of a wooden table. <laughs> But I like it. So, this is probably the only review of this on YouTube. Um, I've not seen anyone else do a review of this. But when the reviews come out, I will check it out. That's just in case you guys want to check some of the stuff out. There you go. Okay, so the artwork of the bottle will be you guys. I give it a straight up... Mm -hmm. 7.9 out of 10. 7.9 out of 10 for the artwork. I like it. Lucky. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Next grade is the drinkability. Honestly, that smells like an Innocent Gun Original, but... Picture Innocent Gun Original watery. That's this. If this beer had more of a body to it, it'd be better. Like maybe add some oats in the brewing mix. Um, if you're going to rebrew this, then add some oats. Make it more of a fuller body. Hmm. Um, you can definitely taste that and smell that scotch element though. Hmm. I think it may have been brewed in scotch barrels or something. That's why I'm getting that kind of oak barrel taste slash smell. Drink about it, guys. Drink about it of this one out of ten. Drink about it out of ten. I'm going to give the drink about it a nine point two. Nine point two out of ten for the drink about it. Um, easy going, smooth, lovely. So next up, we have the final grade. <clears throat> But 
bit of a smoky element to it as well. That's actually really nice. I like that. I like that, guys. Would I would I buy this again? Yes, I would buy this again for sure. Mm -hmm. Aye, I would buy it again. I'm pretty sure that was one eighty from. I can't remember the name of the fucking shop, but it's an off license. It's an off license. It's basically just a wee shop, um, corner shop. Can't remember the name of it. Mackinsons or something. Um, but I went in there to try and get Dab Export Dortmunder. Um, because I've seen that in there before, and I've had it before. I've just not reviewed it. I wanted to review it in the channel, but unfortunately, when I when I went in there, they didn't have it. But they had this thing, and I went, okay, I'll just buy that. And I bought another another one that I'm going to review on the channel. Um, but I had never seen this or heard of this before, and then when I went home today, obviously coming in the house, i seen it, na nobody, nobody has actually reviewed this. So that's weird. Not even Raggy. Raggy's not even reviewed it. Um... So, this is the first beer review of this beer in the world! So, yeah. Let me go with my final grade on this one, guys. Do I recommend this stuff? Yeah. I would I would say Innocent Gun. Get Innocent Gun, that's better. This is like a watered down Innocent Gun. Cheap man's innocent gun. Um, but, you know what, it's still pretty nice. It's just really light. I was expecting it to have a more fuller body. Um, but, let's go with the final grade, guys. Final grade of this one. I've got a body cold. See if Scotland actually had good weather. I wouldn't be ill. Fuck Scottish weather. Anyway, guys, I love Scotland, but see the weather? Fuck the weather here. The weather in Scotland? Bullshit. Change my mind. I bet you can't. The weather in Scotland? Awful. Always fucking bollocks. That's why every single Scottish person has got the call with are always going, always sniffing, you know? Because <laughs> the weather's shit. Anyway, guys, final grade on this one. I'm going to give it a... Nine point one out of ten. Final grade on this one, guys. Nine point one. I like their approach. I like the Scotch ale element. I like how they've went. The innocent gun root, but as a if it wasn't as watery, if it had more of a fuller body to it, I would have gave it a higher score. But all in all, it's really tasty. It's really nice. Um, is there anything bad about this beer? No, well, maybe the body, um, but that's all, honestly. It's a nice beer. Would I buy this again? Yeah. Would I buy this in draft? Yeah. Would I recommend it to a friend? Yeah. <sighs> Finito. No. Okay guys, so, 9.1 out of 10 for this one, um, and this is the only beer review of this in the world, so, where's all the other reviews? Like, try this stuff out, um, shout out to Dawn's Beer Reviews, you might be able to get a hold of this, um, yeah, so anyway guys, ch check out Dawn's Beer Reviews because he's awesome, he's another Scottish guy, um, he's another Scottish beer tuber, if you will, if you like me, then you might like Dawn's beer reviews as well. Uh, I just thought I would shout him out there because he might be able to get this. And hey everybody, I don't give a fuck if I burp on my YouTube videos. It's going to happen, I'm drinking beer, ain't I? Burp. Anyway guys, <laughs> post, that's all a part of the Jordy's beer review. That's all a part of it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, uh, like, subscribe, give me a wee comment down below. If you've got anything that you want to say to me, then comment down below and I will reply. Um, yeah, so peace out, guys. Please check out my other beer reviews and I'll catch you guys in the next beer review. So, 
Peace out. Goodbye. Take care.